it's likely that no one in New York will even know what's happening tonight in Covington, but it has to do with what that city is going through. Police and neighbors come together tonight to pay respects to the two NYPD officers ambushed and killed in their cruiser. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us why this is so important to small communities. More than 25,000 police officers from throughout the country and Canada came to New York for the funeral of Rafael Ramos. When something like this happens, no matter where it is in the country, it affects us all. So here in Bellevue, Kentucky, it's 11 police officers covered their badges with black mourning tape. And Northern Kentucky departments will honor the two fallen New York officers tonight. I think it's important that we pay our respects to those officers for the ultimate sacrifice. Even in this tiny river town of Bellevue, Kentucky, the executions of two police officers hundreds of miles away is a reality check for cops here. Something that we don't think about um, on a daily basis. We all have computers in our cars and a lot of the officers will go ahead and do the reports right there in the car before they even leave the scene. And when you do that, of course, you're on the computer concentrating and you're not paying attention to your surroundings as much as maybe you should. The candlelight service is not just for police. How are you? I'm good. I don't know if you saw this. I posted it on Facebook, and I think you're a friend of the police department. But we're doing a candlelight visual tonight okay. for uh, remembrance of the officers that were killed in New York. Hope hey to see you there. Campbell County's Sheriff-elect Mike Jansen knows what the New York officers' families are going through. His brother Tony was a Newport officer when he was accidentally shot and killed by another officer while investigating a prowler 30 years ago tomorrow. Thinking about the two lives that were lost, senseless, just total senseless. But at the same time, thinking about the families, what they're dealing with, what they're going through, the unknown for them because their loved one's gone and all they have is memories. Vice President Joe Biden said the shootings touched the nation's soul. From Brooklyn, New York to Bellevue, Kentucky. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And the memorial begins at 7 o'clock at the Northern Kentucky Police Memorial, which is right at the foot of the Roebling Suspension Bridge. And again, that is uh, at 7 o'clock tonight.